When you use query to pull data out of Swift data, like we do right now up here, you get to specify how you want that data to be sorted. Should it be alphabetically by one of the fields or numerically with the highest value, it's down to you. Regardless of what you choose, it's important to choose something, okay? Because you want users to have a predictable experience, predictable sort order every time. Now in this project, in our book model here, we have various fields that might be useful for sorting. We might say title alphabetically or author alphabetically, for example, both make sense. Uh, perhaps we could use rating, show the highest or lowest scoring books first. But those are all good choices. However, we can add more than one. We can say, actually, I want to have title first, then rating or rating first, show me the best books, but then use title as a tiebreaker. Now query sorting can be done in two ways. One is a simple option that allows just one sort field, and one's a more advanced option that allows an array of a new type called a sort descriptor. Using a simple version, we'll do it first here. We can say to our query, we want our books to provide an alphabetical order based on their title. So we'd say uh, sort here is backslash book dot title and that's it so it's now sorting them alphabetically automatically or we could say i want to do book dot rating but use an order of dot reverse so five star books the highest rating we have here we saw this before one star books and this approach works really well when you have a single sort field but generally i'd say it's better to have a backup plan in place a backup field sort by rating then by title it adds an extra layer of predictability to your app, which is always a good thing. This is done by using a sort descriptor type, which we can create from either one or two values. We can say the property we want to sort on, name, title, book, author, whatever, address, and uh, then the order. Again, reverse or forward alphabetical or numerical or reverse alphabetical, reverse numerical. For example, we can do the same thing. I want to sort by like book name, uh, we have a fourth book title here using an array of sort descriptors. I'll just do start an array sort descriptor backslash book dot title. And that's the same thing. Now, like a similar approach we had before, the simpler approach, uh, we can also say actually sort by this title thing here, but then reverse it. So you give me Z before Y before X to do all the way back to A. So I'd say um, sort of the book title with order being dot reverse. And now it's reverse alphabetical. But the point is, it's now an array of these things. With the first one coming before second one, third one, fourth one. They're applied in the order you specify them. For example, um, lots of books have the same title. There's a book called Forever by Pete Hamill, for example. Um, and there's also a book called Forever by Judy Bloom. Same title, but different author name. So you might say, uh, give me book title first, and when there's two the same, like forever, I'm going to sort uh, Bloom before Hamill, for example, surname person. That is down to you. Point is, having a backup option is a very, very good idea. So in that case, we might say, I'll add some line breaks here, so it's easy to read. <clears throat> Give me the book title, alphabetically A to Z, and then give me the book author. So two fields. So it'll do a title sort first, and it finds two exactly the same title, then use the author name for that. That's the sort we're going to use in this project here. Title first, then author. It makes a lot of sense for this particular layout. Honestly, having two or even three of these sort fields is a very, very good idea. It has little to no performance impact unless you have lots of data with multiple similar titles. Even then, it's only a small hit. So if, if they all have different titles, authors never even check because they have different titles, you're done. Uh, for our book, case in our case here uh, almost every book have a unique title and so having a secondary or even tertiary or going further sort field is basically irrelevant in terms of performance